Hello and welcome to my channel Knowledge Infinite. Today we are going to discuss about star birth. Stars have been forming throughout the universe for the most of its life, taking shape in the vast clouds where thousands of stars are born at the same time. The clouds that give birth to the stars are called and dense and consist of many of hydrogen gas and newly formed stars are huge spinning globes of hot glowing gas, mainly hydrogen, helium and small amounts of other elements. Much of this material is packed tightly into the star cores and it is here that the nuclear reactions release re energy in the form of heat and are steps how the stars form. The star forming process begins when the cloud becomes unstable and breaks up into the fragments. The gravity pulls material in the fragments into a ever tiny clump and clump slowly from the sphere and it shrinks now the portal the star the star be carried on shrinking to score gets the tensor and hotter immediately the pressure and temperature are so high that nuclear reactions begin and the star shines now the first step is interstellar cloud cloud second is fragment form third is proto star fourth is spinning disk fifth is star is born sixth is planets are formed but the birthplace of the stars are nebulas, so we have to find what is nebulas. Star birth nebulas, clouds of the gas and dust in the space are called nebulas. Much of the gas and dust in a nebula is determined from old stars that explode when they ran out of the fuel or millions of years. This material is recycled to, the, to make new stars. Star birth nebulas are among the most beautiful objects in the space. They are colorful, color illuminated within by the blue light of newborn stars. Our neighbor uh, nebula is Orion Nebula. And so we have to find the types, types of stars. What are the types? The secrets of the star starts from, from the red giant, super giant, blue giant and finally come to, to the red, white one. And they are a star begins to shine when a nuclear reaction in the score convert hydrogen into helium and release energy. It is then called the mean sequence of a star. Not all the mean sequence stars are the same, but uh, they differ in the size, temperature, color, brightness, and amount of the matter they contain. What stars begin to run out of the fuel and near the end of the, their lives, uh, they stop, uh, begin main skin star and make swell up and turn to right joints or shrink to become the dwarf white dwarfs classification of the stars is given by Hertz spring russell toby Grom is a famous uh, graph of the astronomers used to classify the stars the, the graph plots the brightness against the temperature reveals uh, that there is a distinct grouping of the stars such as red giants dying stars and main sequence of stars ordinary stars astronomers also classified by color which link to, to their temperature hot stars are blue stars and then uh, the super giants are the cooler cooler and yellow becomes cooler and red stars are very very cooler than the anywhere now stars live in a cluster that we said a star cluster stars are not form singly they they are bo born in a cluster from the cloud of the material at roughly the same time image where the stars of the cluster will drift apart and exist alone in the space or with a close companion or two our sun like about half of the earth star near us to the us is alone about a third of the stars in the night sky and in the pairs bound together by gravity and our nearest cluster is the Dallas cluster it has 5000 stars uh, it will last for 25 million years it will last for and this was and the 30 billion years is the age of the oldest star that has ever known by us the brightest stars emit six million times more light than our sun that was fast fact about the stars and thanks for watching the video if you subscribe if you are not subscribed to our channel then please subscribe to our channel and leave the comment below what you want to learn next and how you like that if you like that give a thumbs up and write below